Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over groups in the tests. Okay, so um, I made this very simple, super simple. I typed this out ahead of time because it took me forever and I kept making mistakes. So I made a super simple class, class cake, layers, shape, type, one method right here, size, layers, slices, okay. I didn't actually have to go through all this, by the way. Um, celebration. Um, so this is a setter, right? The shape. And if the shape is round, it's a birthday cake. If it's square, it's a wedding cake. If it's a rectangle, it's a party cake. And if it's anything else, you just got a big mess on your hands. Okay? So um, what I want to do is group. So group is just basically when you want to test something that has something in common. So you have a group of things that have something in common. It's easier to test them as a group then writing it all out separately. Why? Well, let's look, let's look at this example and delete this part. So test.group, it's the cake object. So all objects in the cake section are going to be tested. We should check the cake methods. Okay. And then variable C equals a new cake. Okay. And then test, test is cake what's the first one cake size size and layers slices okay so that will have to be c dot size layers um actually i don't have to do it there i can do it right here c dot size layers I don't know four layers slices eight okay test equals what's it supposed to return layers time slices so it should be 32 32 okay and you could do different things with this remember so you could, might use a variable or something like that uh, up above and then introduce something, do a loop, do something like this, do random numbers themselves um, and, and put them inside there. That's another possibility also. So um, we'll do that here, test that. But because we're in the same cake object, notice that in the within scope, okay, you put it right there. So you don't have to do a whole new test again. You could just continue on the test here with this object still within the lexical scope, right? So right here and there's a new test and this is outside of it so everything inside will be seen so test test cake color test dot expect this is not we're not doing the color we're doing the celebration let's do the type type cake type but remember this is a celebration so it'll have to be C dot celebration and the shape of the cake will be purple. Okay. So we'll have a purple shaped cake. Um, test expect C, um, C dot type, right? So you did C, C celebration C dot celebration purple. It'll get the setter celebration shape purple, not in there. So it'll be type equals mess. So C dot type equals mess. Test equals mess. And let's see if that all works well. All things passed. What if we misspelled it? Then it would give us an error. Okay, and it would be up here somewhere, cake method, actual SS, actual mess, expected MSS. That's the expected. Okay, and this is the actual. So what we're basically doing here is we wrote this all out. Instead of writing this down here, 
and then writing this down here again and C celebration down here because it had something in common that's all grouping actually does so it's not a big deal but if you could imagine if you had a really big huge objects themselves with lots of different types of methods and you know instance variables it might be pretty big so grouping might be very easy to follow so you just go straight to the cake method you don't have to look through all these different you know sections here and there so it'll be helpful in that way so that's group testing itself all right um, I think that was about it we'll run it works perfectly fine this time around okay so thank you very much